loving the Chinese-inspired choreography, especially the Guqing one. And food has always been a center of family get-togethers, serving as a unifier across all cultures. While my mother's cooking feeds my soul, the burning question is, what feeds yours? Today in our series, Flavors of Beijing, we speak to one restaurant manager who explains why Indian food is getting so popular in the capital. And it has a lot to do with Bollywood movies. This is Flavors of Beijing, a food crawl exploring the international cuisines bewitching local and expat foodies in China's capital. My name is Lin Lin, and I'm a foodie at heart. Today, we take a trip to an Indian restaurant sitting right above an Irish pub in downtown Beijing. Much like Chinese gastronomy, Indian food is widely available around the world as a result of the Indian diaspora. Growing up in Canada, Indian cuisine was both an exotic treat for my girls' night out or a quick snack I could pick up at the campus cafe in between classes. The generous use of spices in Indian food always had me going back for more. But sometimes, the strong aromas and the rich mixture of ingredients can overwhelm an unfamiliar palate. Chandan Kuma Banja, who's been in Beijing's food and beverage scene for close to eight years, says Indian food has only gotten popular with local diners recently. When I came here, like 2015, less people like Indian food. Not only Indian food, maybe other food also. But now, I just take a look, all of people, they like Indian food, like Indian cultures, everything. And the reason for that? First of all, it's the movie, Indian movie. People's uh, like uh, some dungles, Suejo Papa, you know, they're very famous in China. People also see some uh, Indian movies and they also look at Indian cultures, Indian food, how to eat. So. From dungle to secret superstars, Bollywood movies have performed exceptionally well in China's box office in recent years. Focusing on familiar themes such as family drama, education, the rural urban gap, and more. Indian films strike a chord with Chinese viewers. As for the Indian foods featured in these movies, they've certainly tickled Chinese taste buds. Chef Rabil from Kolkata has worked in Beijing for close to six years, and he says a number of Indian dishes are popular among Chinese diners. A lot of Chinese people, they really love the Indian cuisine, such as like uh, Indian curry, butter chicken, samosa, and a lot of tandoori dishes. A lot of Chinese, they really love it. Indian cuisine is an endless area of flavorful dishes coming together through the subcontinent's varied culture and dynamic landscapes. And today, Chef Rabil has served up a northern Indian tali for us. Today I uh, cooked for you North Indian style thali. Basically, thali means like you know, one round platter. Normally in India we serve thali with uh, copper pot, then then we serve veg, non-veg both. But if you go to South India or if you go Eastern India, they have own version of thali. So today I make North Indian style. This delicious platter, which consists of lentil curry, butter chicken, paneer, and other signature dishes from northern India, is nothing less than a grand feast. And to enjoy them the traditional Indian way, Chef Rabil says, You must need to use your hands, then you can feel the real authentic Indian food. So does everyone eat with their hands in India? It depends on the people, but traditional way, we need to use our hands on the meat. Okay, that will be challenging for me because I've only tried <laughs> eating like chips or chicken wings or like um, nachos with my hand, but not with like curry. So yeah. it'll be a whole new experience for me. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do it? Where do we start? So now you can start with rice with lentil. This is the best combination, you know. Show me, Chandan. <laughs> Fingers, right? Yes. These three fingers. These three fingers. Okay. You can use five, no problem after you. <laughs> okay, I'll go with three first. Like this. Blend it together. Yes, Mr. Rice. Like this, and you know, otherwise, you can use your whole fingers. It gives me a very interesting sensation. It's a little bit cold. I've never had this experience before. I'm getting lots of good thumbs. Then you take it like this. Like this? Yeah. This finger you put here. Here. Yeah. 
in your mouth. And serve it, right? Just, just throw it inside, like this. After multiple attempts, I have to confess this eating technique is an art that takes skill and practice to master. I need to use the dexterity of all my fingers to manage the food. This traditional Indian eating practice is said to show respect and gratitude for the food, which often requires elaborate efforts to make. That's really good. First, let's cut the tomato one by four. One by four. Yeah. And for a better understanding of how labor-intensive Indian cooking can be, Chef Rabil takes me into the kitchen and teaches me how to make the world-renowned butter chicken. <laughs> it's a lot of vegetable dicing, mixing of spices. Add some red chili powder. Not too much, just a little bit. Good that you yeah. said it. I almost put this whole thing in. <laughs> the right amount of spices, sauteing and more sauteing, frying in a lengthy period of simmering and swirling the mixture before an incredibly creamy and rich bowl of butter chicken so makes its way to the dining table. You can try one. <laughs> See if it's authentic Indian. Wow. It's good? Yes, yeah, good. From 1 to 10? Yeah, 11. <laughs> oh my god. As China's Epicurean food scene continues to grow and diversify, Indian food has slowly but surely found its way into the hearts and stomachs of diners in the capital.